the majority of the workers at the zinc mine down tools for nearly two months since February, demanding an increase in pay and benefits. <laughs> An agreement in favor of the workers was reached in the High Court in April. MUN regional organizer Elvis Bekele on Friday wrote a letter to the mine expressing dismay at claims of the plant mass disciplinary hearings. Bekele said the union learned that supervisors at the mine were instructed to charge and summon employees who embarked on the protected strike to disciplinary hearings. One supervisor was allegedly victimized by the mine and falsely accused of giving information to the mine during the legal strike. The union is also informed that the mine has threatened employees into signing notices of disciplinary hearings without consulting the union. The union has informed the mine that an action will follow if the mine chooses to continue with the same approach. MUN also sent a notice to the Labor Commission alerting it of the planned action by the mine. According to the union, the mine's action is viewed as revenge against the workers after its defeat in the wage negotiations. Employees at the mine are said to be in fear and uncertain of their future in the company. The 364 striking workers were awarded a salary increase of 1,600 and a 7% pay hike from February next year. Rosh Pina Zing mine manager Christo Aspelling on Monday refused to comment, instead referring questions to a spokesperson in Switzerland, where the majority stakeholder of the Zing mine is based. <laughs>